Welcome back. This is Jack. You read the title, so let's talk about it. Right now, we're seeing a lot of questionable choices by our leaders and government. One reason or another, you have to wonder why they're voting or saying the things they want to say. For instance, Joe Manchin is opposed to any green technology or any green policies being put forth. He claims it's because it'll hurt jobs in West Virginia, but there are provisions in there that would allow for retraining into better jobs. You also see him opposing expansions and help towards Medicare, such as allowing Medicare to negotiate to lower drug prices. These are both very odd things. These are just This is just an example with Joe Manchin. But when you take a step back and look at it, he, te he owns a coal company. Technically, it's owned by his son, but his family owns a coal company, which would have been hurt if we moved to green technologies. His daughter used to work for the company that produces EpiPens. In fact, she's responsible for that they're only sold in two, and the price went up by several hundred percent under her leadership. So Dear Papa has actively opposed legislation that would make her, his kids lose money from his um, yacht in Washington, D.C. called Almost Heaven. Yes, I do understand that's actually a reference to the John Denver song, Country Roads. It goes even further than that. We find out that several legislators will change their investments based on the different things they've had to vote on. Nancy Pelosi is actually another good example in this. On average, the stock portfolio of every senator, almost every senator, not every every senator, does better than the average market. Meaning, the average investor, whether it be the big banks that are designed purely to speculate and follow the market trends, they do better than them. A good example with this is, once again, Nancy Pelosi. What she did recently is she bought, about a, a couple months ago, she bought stock in NVIDIA. Then all of a sudden, the military turns around and says, hey, we're partnering with NVIDIA to make a new supercomputer or something. Oh, look, its stock prices went up. This happens over and over again. And this is not just a Democrat issue. This is almost a universal issue. Both parties are particularly guilty. Now, is every senator or every House of Rep guilty? No. Bernie Sanders would be an actually good example of one who has not shown that kind of behavior. But it does raise the question of why senators who get paid roughly about $150,000 to $200,000 a year are almost all collectively millionaires. They own stock in different businesses that they get to vote on policies that affect them. They get to know insider trading information and then pay a measly fee when they get busted doing it. Terry Pratchett once said, any law whose only punishment is a fee is punishment only for the poor. I kind of butchered that when I understand that. So that raises the question, what do we do? Here is my personal opinion on what we should do. If you are to become a member of the government, whether it be House of Rep, Senator, President, or Supreme Court, that's important too, you should have to divest in everything. Now, traditionally, a lot of people do, but I'm talking no stocks and almost no property. You should have no stocks, no businesses, and almost no property. You can have your um, one vaca one home and maybe a vacation home or something like that. But you should not be able to do as, like, for instance, Trump did, where he spent over 200 days on one of his own properties, forcing Secret Service to pay an exorbitant amount of money just to stay at one of his golf courses. And any if they decide they want to invest money, all money from their stock sales... In fact, I would say they would have to divest and immediately put all money in stocks to U.S. bonds. So they are literally investing in the welfare of the country. This is just some examples that are relatively easy to dig up. And this is not a liberal or conservative thing. This is something every American should bring up, that we are watching corruption at play. And this is not even getting to talking about how super PACs work. This is literally just talking what they do on a personal level to enrich themselves. As a veteran, as an American, I know we can ask and demand more from our government. I think we need to step up and call them out. If we think, if we know that our legislators are doing these kind of things, they need to be voted out. We need to stand up to the established power who is doing these things. If I've said anything that rings a bell with you, anything that holds importance to you, there is a comment section down below. If you feel the need to call me a communist or whatever, go ahead. You're probably using the term communist wrong. But if you actually want to discuss on what the different things we can do, the different ways we can push our government to do the right thing, because to be honest, 
We're never going to get our government to behave the way it's supposed to, to get it to pass legislation that helps me and you until we get rid of the corruption. And this is just a small fraction of it. You know who I am. I'm my, this is Jack. You like my stuff? There is that like button down below. There's a nice comment section where we can discuss whatever you want to about this video. If you have questions about you want me to address in later videos, that's what the comment section's for. before. And if you like me doing these kind of videos, hit that little subscribe button. I do a range of topics from politics, geek stuff. I'm even starting to do some fitness stuff because I'm just talking about my journey as I'm trying to get in the shape I want. And if nothing else, I want you to take care of yourself so I can see you all in the next one, all right?